हेलो स्टूडेंट्स गुड टाइम टू ऑल एंड चंदन कुमार प्रधान वेलकम टू योर यूट्यूब चैनल चंदन फिजिक्स इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस एक्सपेरिमेंटल वेरिफिकेशन ऑफ मार्क्सुअल बोल्स एंड डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन ऑफ मॉलिकुलर स्पीड्स टू एक्सपेरिमेंट्स वन इज जैटमैन एंड को एक्सपेरिमेंट एंड अनदर वन इज स्टॉन्स एक्सपेरिमेंट लेट्स एगेन two experiments are done to establish the verification of maxwell boltzmann distribution of molecular speeds first experiment was done by stones rather that stones experiment modified by two scientists jatmian and co to verify the maxwell boltzmann distribution of molecular speeds in this video we discuss two experiments one by one what are the setups and what are the outcomes from these experiments first experiment that is jatmian and co experiment jatmian and co experiment this is the experimental setup we explain it a beam of bismuth molecules produced by an oven this is the oven here the beams of bismuth molecules are produced and these molecules was collimated by a series of slits there are three slits s1 s2 s3 are the slits these are the series of slits that collimated beams are passes through that of series of slits s1 s2 and s3 a glass plate p fixed inside that of cylindrical drum here it is the cylindrical drum and this is a glass plate p that is fixed inside that of hollow cylindrical drum which can be rotated at high speed about an axis passing through its center and was used to collect bismuth molecules this is the cylindrical drum hollow cylindrical drum A glass plate p is fixed to collect the collimated bismuth gas molecules as produced from that of oven by passes through that of collimated beams through that of series of slits s1 s2 and s3 the entire apparatus was placed in an evacuated chamber that entire apparatus are set up into an evacuated chamber this is an evacuated chamber here we have to note that the molecules could enter the drum only when the slit s cross the molecular rim means that is the hollow drum that is rotated about its axis in the clockwise sense so here the bismuth collimated beams are passes through that of drum only when that s crossed that of molecular beam okay at that time the beams are passed this is a schematic diagram of apparatus used by jatmian and co to verify maxwell's law of distribution of molecular velocities this is the oven these are the slits these are the collimated beams this is also a slit this is the glass plate p that uh, chamber is evacuated glass chamber what happened here these are the experimental setups now the working principle when the drum is stationary means when the drum is at rest what happened here the beam will strike the glass plate at a particular spot a when that drum 
is fixed or stationary means at rest the beams are strike at a particular place that is at that of place a of that of glass plate as the drum is rotated clockwise drum is rotated clockwise so what happened here the glass plate moves towards the right and faster moving molecules entering the cylinder cylinder will strike it to the left of a the point of impact when the cylinder was stationary suppose the slower molecules reach the plate between b and c look here the hollow drum is rotated clockwise through its axis and the gas molecules are passes through these slits means the faster gas molecules are deposited to the left of that points b and c the molecules deposited at point b the velocities at which the molecules are passes are much more as comparison to that of molecules that are deposited at point c in this way from a b c like that the gas molecules are deposited as that drum rotated in the clockwise direction this is the number of molecules or the speed of that molecules that are deposited at point a is greater as comparison to that of b and again the speed at which the molecules are deposited at point b is greater as comparison to that of point c in this way the gas molecules are deposited according to their speeds inside that of glass plate or on that of glass plate above that of glass plate to observing that thing we draw a graph in between this is the plate let this is the zero mark and we draw the graph in between position across the plate relative to zero mark to the blackening of that of plate and the graphs look like this the dotted lines are indicated the theoretical results but actually experimentally we we found out that result this is the graph in between how the gas molecules are deposited again if we draw the graph by taking the speed in x axis and density of a deposit along y axis then the graphs look like this here the cross symbol indicates for experimental results and line symbol indicates for theoretical results comparing this graph to the experimental results of maxwell boltzmann distribution of molecular speeds we confirm that here the experimentally and uh, theoretical results are surprisingly too good so zatman and co experiment to verify maxwell boltzmann distribution of molecular speeds holds good this is the experimental setup and how the working principles to detect the uh, distribution of molecular speeds of gas molecules according to maxwell and boltzmann again another experiment conducted by another scientist who is stern stern's experiment to verify maxwell's boltzmann distribution of molecular speeds what is stern's experiment here we take the oven and cesium atom is placed inside that of oven slit s and a tungsten wire d is placed here the atoms are deflected by the gravity only under the effect of gravity the atoms are deflected this is the way on which atoms are propagated but due to the effect of gravity the horizontal motion of that of 
atoms are affected due to that of gravity and that uh, path changes to parabolic. The horizontal motions are changed to parabolic. So, what happens here? Just no. Here the atoms are deflected by gravity only and the molecular beam of cesium. Cesium atom is placed in that of oven. So, the molecular beam of cesium emerges from the oven placed in a long highly evacuated chamber that is placed in a long highly evacuated chamber and it is made to pass through the culminating slates and impinges on a hot tungsten wire D. The cesium is passed through that of culminated beams are pa passed to that of slit and uh, these atoms are impingence throughout that of hot tungsten wire D. This is the hot tungsten wire D. The cesium atoms striking the wire, the cesium atoms which are striking the wire get ionized and leave the wire as a positive ion. The cesium atoms striking at that of tungsten wire, hot tungsten wire are ionized and after ionizing leave the wire as a positive ion and these are collected by a negatively charged cylinder surrounding the wire. This is the wire, the su surrounding that of wire we take a negatively cylind cylinder surrounding that of wire that shown that is not shown in that of diagram. But here the current in that of collecting cylinder means the ions are collected. So, the current in the collecting cylinder gives a measure of the number of cesium atoms striking the detecting wire for unit time. The cesium atoms striking to that of tungsten wire are positively ions and these leave to that of tungsten wire and collected by the cylinder that are surrounded by that of tungsten wire was negatively ion with respect to that of tungsten and the current in that of a collecting cylinder gives the measure means with the help of this current measurement we can calculate what are the number of cesium atoms striking the detecting wire per unit time what are the number of cesium atoms striking the detecting wire per unit time is calculated through that of how current is collected how much current is collected on that basis we calculate how much number of cesium atoms are striking the collecting wire per unit time? How these striking things are carried away? What are the principles on which they are striking or how we calculate the number of cesium atoms here? So, here if we take the absence of gravitational field means they, there is no effect of gravity means the cesium atoms are passes through that of culminated beams are striking at that point P. In the absence of gravitational field all atoms emerging horizontally from the oven would pass through the slit S and travel without any deviation and strike the collector at P irrespective of their velocities. Due to the absence of gravity the cesium atoms passes through that of slit S and the striking at point P irrespective of their velocities. It means the velocities does not affect how the number of uh, cesium atoms are striking at point P in case of in the absence of gravitational field. There will be no such effect of gravity then the horizontal motion of that of cesium atoms is followed. But due to the gravitational field what happened due to the gravitational field all atoms emerging horizontally from the oven would pass through the slit S travel without any deviation and strike the collector at sorry uh, here, is, here uh, in case of absence of gravitational field, but in case of gravitational field what happened due to the gravitational field each atom emerging horizontally would behave as a projectile and follow a parabolic path atoms proceeding along with path A at speed V1 would reach the collector at point P1 and those preceding along path P2 having speed V2 would reach the collector at P2. Look at that figure. 
due to the presence of gravitational field what happened the horizontal motion of the atoms are treat to that of projectile motion means the atoms which are passes through this direction means possesses the velocity v1 striking at that of plate at point p1 and the atoms having the velocity is v2 passes through that of slit s and point a at point p2 on that of hot tungsten wire or that of detecting wire here what we measure the measurement of the ion current as a function of the vertical height of the collector gives the measure of the velocity distribution how long the distance from that of point p to p1 and p2 accordingly this the measurement is the ion current as a function of vertical height of the collector gives the measure of the velocity distribution so we plot the curve as variation of ionization current ionization current with that is v by vp v of p that is ionizing velocities to that of intensity so the graph looking like this that graph is uh, very very similar to that of maxwell boltzmann distribution of velocity graph so in this way the agreement between theoretical predictions and experimental results is exceedingly good means the theoretical results and the experimental results are approximately or exactly same in this way from stones galak experiment from stones galak experiment we conclude how the maxwell's boltzmann distribution of molecular speeds are verified so with the help of this video lecture we understand the experimental verification of maxwell boltzmann distribution of molecular speeds two experiments are conducted one is jackman and co experiment another one is stones experiment this is the jackman and co experiment this is the experimental setup this is the principle on which it acts the working thing and the graphical way to determine next one stones experiment this is the experimental setup how all these things are happened in the absence of gravitational field in the presence of gravi gravitational fields and how we measure this is the graphical view of that of measurement and finally we conclude how these two experiments are holds good to verify maxwell's boltzmann distribution of molecular speeds so with this useful and informative notes let me wind up this session thank you